Hi, I'm Sandeep and today I'm inspecting a PCB sample with surface mounted components on both sides of the board. Now let's load the sample. Turn the x-rays on. I'm now going to apply a contrast stretch and a filter so that I have a nice, bright, sharp image. I'm interested in this BGA. However, components on the other side of the board are obstructing me to do this. So I now need to run a CT scan to separate out the layers. I have two CT tools available to me and today I will be using X-Plane. X-Plane allows me to use high magnification on large samples to achieve the highest resolution. I can use X-Plane anywhere on the sample tray. No manual alignment is required. So let's get started. Draw a fiducial box and click start. X-Plane builds a 3D model by taking images during an orbit around the sample. Today I'm collecting 36 images and using a 40 degree angle. Great, my X-Plane scan has now finished. This took less than two minutes including reconstruction time. These are my X-Plane results. At this layer you can see the components on one side of the board. As I slice through, we now see the via holes in the PCB. We now see the BGA balls. And at the top of the sample, we see the micro bumps. I'm now going to do a voiding analysis on my BJ balls. First, I need to find the outline of the balls. I can now ask the software to detect the voiding. And you can see that the voiding has very easily been found by the software. Here is another example of X-Plane. On this QFN package, you can see an open connection and you can also see a bridge between two pads. Here is an example of a X-Plane scan I did on a UK pound coin. You can see detail on both sides of the coin and using visualization software, you can do further rendering in 3D.